know Spanish? Okay. Uh, I know none. Hola, ladies. Que hacer este noche? Pues no sé. We just got here. It's our first time. Hola. Donde ir hoy, señoritas? We don't know. We just got here. It's our first time. Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Let me hear you. Good evening. My name is Stephanie Kammer, and I'm the choreographer for the Miss USA pageant. Thanks. My team and I have been working very closely with the girls for the past few days, and we are beyond excited and proud to show you the result of their hard work. Please be generous with your applause for all of the contestants, even if you have your special favorite. And I know we all have a special favorite, right? I know. So with that said, live from Las Vegas, welcome to the 2016 Miss USA preliminary competition.
Lindsay Williams, Virginia. Kelsey Schmidt, Washington. Help me give a warm welcome. Put your hands together for this awesome, awesome, witty, cool, well-dressed guy, Mr. Nick Teplitz. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm glad you struggled on the fact that I'm a guy. I appreciate that. How's everybody doing? Yes. Welcome to the T-Mobile Arena for the 2016 Miss USA Preliminary Competition. You guys excited to bring the girls out here? I am psyched. It is an amazing group. And, uh, but before we talk about tonight's show, let's talk about the telecast, which uh, is this Sunday, of course, on Fox. It's going to be an amazing show. Backstreet Boys are going to be here. Yes, we've got Terrence J and Julianne Huff hosting. And Ashley Graham is going to be backstage. It's going to be a great show. Tickets are still available, so Snatch those up while you still can. Now, you heard me mention there are 52 contestants, and for some reason I have two microphones, but we'll address that later. Um, but you're probably thinking to yourself, 52, when there's only 51 states. What, what's the deal? So to those people, I would say, number one, consult a map immediately. And number two, we did a nationwide search for Miss 52 USA this year, and uh, you guys voted on Twitter, and uh, she will be participating as the 52nd contestant along with all 50 states and, of course, Districts of Columbia. Now, we are making Miss USA more interactive than ever. We're letting the fans kind of be more apart than ever before. Um, you know, along with Miss 52 USA, we've also got the Miss You app. So if you have not yet downloaded this app, you've got to check it out. It's the only app I use more than Tinder. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> I have to warn you, though, if you swipe right, that does not necessarily mean you'll be dating any contestants. I've tried multiple, multiple times. So far, no luck. Um, are these things on? OK, sorry. Um, listen, these jokes clearly aren't working, as usual. So I think I should just bring out my co-host. You guys ready to meet her? She is Miss USA 2015, Olivia Jordan. That is a little bit nicer of an entrance than I made, but uh, <laughs> my touch isn't quite so flowy. Um, sure. So tell the audience, besides growing about a foot, what you've been up to for the past year. I've always been taller than you. Not true. You're wearing like 14-inch <laughs> heels, but go yeah, on. I, I wore extra tall heels just to put Nick in his place tonight. But this has been an incredible year. Definitely the craziest year of my life. I got to lobby in Washington, D.C. for ovarian cancer and the Alzheimer's Association, which was by far a highlight. I also got to go to the Philippines and go to Sundance and the Super Bowl. It's, it's just been, I've been all over the map and I feel so blessed and so honored for all the opportunities that I had. Amazing, let's give it up for her. <laughs> Slightly better year than I had. Mostly just sat around in my studio apartment and uh, Eight nachos. But uh, well, you wrote this show, so we're That's true, all that's true, yes. And speaking of tonight's show, you guys are going to be treated to some fantastic rhymes that were, you're going to think they were written by a second grader, but they were not. They, they were written by Nick. Yes, so feel Basically free. Basically the same. Yeah. <laughs> Very I, I, true. I love you. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Uh, listen, your time is almost up anyway, let's be honest. 
So uh, I think it's time it's so true. that we find your successor. And uh, what do you say we meet the judges who are going to help pick that girl? Ready? Let's do it. All right. He's the global ambassador. He's the global alliance director at Droga Five, leading the advertising agency's work with partner company WME IMG across all facets of the entertainment industry. Nick Phelps. The West Coast bureau chief at Us Weekly magazine. This Harvard grad has covered the Cannes Film Festival, the Oscars, and President Obama's inauguration. Rebecca Beanstalk. As president and executive producer of the People's Choice Awards, he oversees the popular People's Choice Awards show, Fred Nelson. This Vegas-based philanthropist has been a marketing and communication executive for over 15 years, executing large-scale events for the NBA, Facebook, and Beats by Dre. Kristen Conte. This handsome LA-based media executive has created shows for Comedy Central, CBS, and ABC. He most recently wrote and directed a short film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Warren Buffett, Joey Bukadakis. From CBS's The Insider, this two-time Emmy-nominated host has interviewed the world's biggest celebs, including Oprah, Taylor Swift, and Tom Hanks, Kelty Knight. He's an entertainment and digital media lawyer, equal rights and diversity spokesperson. His clients have included Sony Pictures Entertainment and Major League Baseball, Jimmy Wynn. Let's give another round of applause for our judges. Tonight, they'll cast their votes for swimsuit and evening gown, and tomorrow, they will interview each in contestant individually. That is true, and make sure you're taking notes, because this year, you will also be a judge. That's right, voting is now open to help put your favorite contestant into the top 15, and you'll also have a chance to vote during the finals on June 5th. The best way to vote is on the new Miss You app, so download it free right now on your iOS and Android devices. You can also vote on Twitter using hashtag MissUSA and contestant-specific hashtags or on vote.missusa.com. That's right. And uh, we're about to bring the girls back out here. And as they walk the stage, we'll tell you a little bit about them, as I said, with a little rhyme at the end. Uh, so every time you hear a particularly cheesy one, feel free to groan, roll your eyes, or just do what Olivia and I do and make a drinking game out of it. <laughs> People do make fun of these rhymes myself included, but I can tell you as a contestant last year, I couldn't wait to hear mine read. It's a Miss USA tradition. Are you guys ready to bring out the contestants? <laughs> then let's begin the 2016 Miss USA preliminary show with the swimsuit competition. Alabama. Peyton planned to play college basketball, but was injured while leading her high school team to a championship. Three days after tearing her ACL, she won her state's team crown and a knee brace. We think you'll agree, she's great on one knee, Alabama! Alaska. Ariane was homeless for much of her childhood and entered pageantry to share her story. She's currently a biological sciences major and plans to go into a dual doctorate program upon graduation. With hard work, she switches from rags to riches, Alaska. Arizona. Chelsea used to struggle with her weight, but training for pageants helped her to live a healthier, more disciplined lifestyle. She has since lost 20 pounds and now finds she's booking a lot more modeling jobs. Chasing the crown has helped her slim down. She's Arizona. Arkansas. Abby graduated high school at 16 and is currently studying business marketing in college. She grew up showing horses, beating competitors from nine countries to win a world championship in 2012. 
She could teach courses on how to show horses Arkansas. California. Nadia's mother is a former Miss West Virginia USA, and her father is Gerardo of Rico Suave fame. This 20-year-old recently signed up for culinary school, but put that on hold to focus on modeling. She'd likely be cooking if she wasn't good looking. She's California. Colorado. Kaylee Ray started a fundraiser in conjunction with Make-A-Wish that has raised over $400,000 and granted 61 wishes to date. This 22-year-old currently designs jewelry for a company that donates all proceeds to displaced refugees. Raising cash in her sash, it's Colorado. Connecticut. Tiffany is a nurse at the number one trauma center in her home state. She has worked in the intensive care unit for three years and says there's nothing better than hearing a heart beating after it stopped. No one's averse to being saved by this nurse, Connecticut! Delaware. Alexandra is currently studying mechanical engineering with a minor in mathematics. She enjoys applying math to real life situations and plans to eventually help improve the braking systems in vehicles. She's on the right path, thanks to science and math, Delaware. District of Columbia. Deshana is currently a company commander in the Army Reserves. This 26-year-old is in charge of 15 petroleum specialists and several soldiers. Everything's grand with her in command, District of Columbia. Florida. Due to financial troubles, Bree lived in an RV with her mom and sister for five years. As luck would have it, Matthew McConaughey lived in the area and once gave this 25-year-old a special gift for her birthday. You must be dazed and confused if you're not amused by Florida. Alabama, Alaska. Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, and Florida. Imani is working with the Boys and Girls Club on a program that advocates for youth participation in education. She loves children and would eventually like to teach in Africa. You have to applaud how she helps kid abro kids abroad, Georgia! Hawaii. Chelsea was a star volleyball player at Cal Polytech. This 24-year-old was a four-time junior Olympian and as a high school senior was named one of the top 20 players in the nation. Making spiking look striking, it's Hawaii. Idaho. Sydney is an adoption advocate who was taken in by an amazing family as a young child. This 21-year-old speaks with youth in her community and once put on a fashion show to raise awareness for foster kids. Proving adoption is a great option. It's Idaho! Illinois. Zena is a self-described nerd who interned at a, a tech startup where she helped build a website. She's obsessed with NASA's Instagram page and says her favorite place to hang out is the planetarium in Chicago. She claims she's a geek, but she makes our knees weak, Illinois. Indiana. Morgan has been singing.
singing country music since she was three and was once named one of America's most talented kids on a TV show. She currently does open mics, but would eventually like to move to Nashville to pursue her dream. She's all the rage once she hits the stage, Indiana! Iowa. Alyssa provides education and resources about human trafficking in her, in her community. This 24-year-old has met with the FBI and the Attorney General's office to help raise awareness in her state. It sure is grand to lend a hand like Iowa. Kansas. Victoria has a degree in business administration and plans to eventually open a prom and pageant store. She says there isn't a big fashion scene where she lives and she's hoping to help change that. Fashion is her passion, Kansas! Kentucky. Kyle is studying political science and is currently Senator of the Arts and Sciences College at the University of Louisville. This 20-year-old 20, this 20 is interested in criminal law and eventually wants to be a circuit court judge. We're proud to report you'll see her in court, Kentucky. Louisiana. Malia will soon be a senior at McNeese University. Upon graduation, this 21-year-old plans to either get her PhD in psychology or become an international food critic. She's an expert on moods and foods. It's Louisiana. Maine. For the past couple years, Marissa has been catching and tagging sharks for science. Her volunteer work has made the national news, and she's even filmed a TV pilot. Making her mark by catching a shark, it's Maine. Georgia. Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, and Maine. Christina was a competitive gymnast for 15 years before tearing two ligaments in her ankle. She's written several original songs and plans to be a professional singer in the future. We'd swoon if we heard a tune from Maryland. Massachusetts. Whitney's fashion blog teaches young women how to dress well on a budget. Not surprisingly, a popular magazine recently named her one of Boston's top 15 most fashionable people. If you need advice on how to look nice, ask Massachusetts. Michigan. Susie works in the medical device industry for a spinal surgery company. She's fascinated by the human spine and is proud to be the first female specialist in her state. Making sure your spine is feeling fine, it's Michigan! Minnesota. As a senior in high school, Bridget spent her spring break on a mission trip in Jamaica. This 20-year-old provided school supplies and other necessities to underprivileged children. With a knack for giving back, it's Minnesota. Mississippi. Haley began speaking on behalf of the Crohn's and Colitis Association after she was diagnosed with the disease three years ago. She's happy to report she's now medication free thanks to a healthy diet. She remains wary of gluten and dairy, Mississippi. Missouri. 
Sydney was a track star in high school and says pageants are just as competitive as sports. This 22-year-old recently swam with sharks while on vacation in Curacao. She deserves our applause for Swimming with Jaws, Missouri. rugby team, giving her an appreciation for the sport. She eventually founded the first women's program in her state, earning a reputation as a punishing tackler. Get out of her way now that there's rugby to play, Montana! Nebraska. Sarah recently hosted a game show that was filmed right here in Las Vegas. This former improv student was cast for the show because of her dry, witty sense of humor. If you think she's funny, you're right on the money, Nebraska. Nevada. Emma Lena received a college scholarship after graduating high school with high honors. This 24-year-old recently earned a degree in psychology and eventually plans to get her PhD. Patients will flock to this future doc, Nevada! New Hampshire. Growing up, Jessica dreamed of being a New England Patriots cheerleader. After years of auditioning for the squad, this 25-year-old was finally a rookie during the 2015 season. This lovely lady cheers for Gronkowski and Brady, New Hampshire. Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, and New Hampshire. New Jersey. Jesse Lynn was a digital arts major in college. This 24-year-old is now a full-time photographer and once a freelance photo editor for a national magazine. When you say cheese, this beauty's at ease. New Jersey! New Mexico. Naomi used to intern for a United States Senator and recently got her degree in political science. This 22-year-old hopes to eventually be the campaign manager for a presidential candidate. No one would object if they decided to elect New Mexico. New York. Serena loves to sing and has auditioned for American Idol four times, The Voice three times, and X Factor once. She says it just made her stronger every time she wasn't chosen. Simon Cowell could never scowl at New York. North Carolina. Devin was captain of her high school cheerleading team. This 23-year-old danced for the Charlotte Hornets last season and was the first ever rookie to be on the cover of their swimsuit calendar. She's easy to remember from January through December, North Carolina. North Dakota. Hallie talked her dad into letting her play ice hockey in sixth grade. By the time she got to high school, she was her team's captain, leading the squad in both goals and assists. Looking nice on the ice. It's North Dakota! Ohio. Megan is currently a first grade teacher with 25 students. 
She has a graduate degree in educational leadership and plans to eventually help change outdated school system policies. Changing education across this great nation, it's Ohio. Oklahoma. Taylor started a consulting company teaching women how to be more assertive in the workplace. She currently has 40 clients in five states with plans to expand her company in the near future. You can live large when you are in charge like Oklahoma. Oregon. Natriana was once homeless after her parents became ill and all the family finances went to pay hospital bills. She'd like to raise awareness about the need for medical insurance reform in this country. It's only fair to have affordable care for Oregon. Pennsylvania. Elena went to a liberal arts college where she studied broadcasting. This 24-year-old comes from a large Greek family, so there's sometimes 70 people at her family Christmas party. With dozens of Greek cousins, it's Pennsylvania! Rhode Island. Teresa works full-time as the deputy chief of staff for the mayor of Providence. As someone who works in politics, she says it's of the utmost importance to vote and stay informed. She's promoting the act of voting for Rhode Island. South Carolina. Leah got her real estate license so she could help pay for her state pageant fees. This 22-year-old has never had a boyfriend and says she wasn't even asked to prom. You can bet within hours, men will be sending her flowers to South Carolina. New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and South Carolina. South Dakota. Madison is studying fashion merchandising at Kansas State University. She plans to eventually open her own dress shop, renting gowns to those who can't afford to buy. Planning to cash in on her love of fashion, it's South Dakota. Tennessee. Growing up, Hope cleaned houses to help her family pay bills. This 20-year-old self-described tomboy loves to camp and told us she can even change her own car's oil. A little dirt never hurt Tennessee. Texas. Daniela is currently studying early childhood development. This future guidance counselor recently raised money for schools by participating in a jalapeno eating contest. When there are peppers to eat, she can handle the heat. Texas. Texas. Utah. Because she has blonde hair, people are surprised to learn that Teal is Latina. This 26-year-old is currently a dental assistant, but plans to eventually become a dental hygienist. This beauty queen will keep your teeth clean, Utah! Vermont. Neely studied wildlife biology in college. This 24-year-old loves being outdoors and took a month-long backpacking trip through Alaska while in high school. 
She explores the outdoors, Vermont. Virginia. Desiree already had a degree in education when she got her doctorate in physical therapy last year. This 26-year-old assistant professor plans to become the female Dr. Oz one day. Helping others get healthy will make her famous and wealthy, Virginia. Washington. Kelsey began training on a trapeze because she was scared of heights. This 26-year-old shocked herself when she was able to rappel down a 20-story building for charity recently. It would appear that she's over her fear, Washington. West Virginia. Nicole and her mother decided to pursue their bachelor's degrees at the same time. This 24-year-old was employed while in school and proudly graduated debt-free. There's less drama when going to school with your mama, like West Virginia. Wisconsin. Kate is currently a butler at a five-star resort in her home state. She worked her way up from housekeeper and is now the person guests turn to for all their needs. We're sure those guests smile when they see a butler with style like Wisconsin. Wyoming. Autumn is currently an honor roll student studying physiology. This 22-year-old plans to eventually go to dental school and become an oral surgeon. It's the truth. She'll fix your tooth. Wyoming. Miss 52, USA. Alexandra's a model, and she's also a technical recruiter for an IT services company. This 26-year-old calls herself a lake baby, never missing an opportunity to go jet skiing or tubing. Taking a break from the lake, it's Miss 52, USA. South Dakota. Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming, and Miss 52 USA. Well, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Can one of these ladies fill my shoes? Woo! Okay, you don't have to be that excited. I was pretty good. Well, sadly, that does bring us to the end of this swimsuit competition. Now, the contestants have proven they're definitely show ready, but there's so much more to them than just walking the stage in swimsuits and evening gowns. Um, they, some of them made quite a transformation from their day-to-day -day looks to what you're seeing right now. Take a look.
amazing to see. I just wake up like this, so I never know. Well, I make the transformation from homeless man to uh, this, like half the contestants, apparently. <laughs> All right. Now, everybody, it is easy to understand why people get a bit nervous when in the presence of a beauty like Olivia Jordan here. I know I've been sweating profusely and trembling all night. Um, so we decided to bring in a group of pageant experts to see if they could handle the pressure of a good old-fashioned Miss USA Q&A. Check it out. Okay, can I ask you guys some questions about mm -hmm. being a pageant girl? Yeah. Have any of you ever competed in pageant? No. No? Have you ever seen it? No. No, you've never seen it? What state are you going to root for? I think... Mexico. Mexico? Okay. Props to Mexico. Who do you want to root for at Miss USA? Mexico. Mexico. Wow. Going for Mexico. Strong contingency here for Mexico to win Miss USA. You you are Nevada, so we cannot think of you. Oh, I'm Nevada. Nevada. Okay. I'm actually secretly from Oklahoma. Oh. What do you think it means to be Miss USA? That you're cool. That you're cool. cool. What do you think Miss USA should be like? A queen. Am I a queen? Yes. Oh, yeah? Queen. Oh, good. Oh, I'm doing a good job? Did you go to college? I graduated, so I already finished college. And now this is my job. What? Being Miss USA. Isn't that a weird job? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to college? Yeah, when I grow up. Where are you going to go? I'm going to be a teacher. Oh, you're going to be a teacher? Mm hmm What do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. A teacher? We have two teachers. A vet. A vet? Actually, you... I want to be a vet. A vet? A doctor. <laughs> a doctor. For puppies. For puppies. I have a puppy. If you could be an animal, what would you be? Um, a bunny. A bunny? A bunny. A bunny? A bunny? We're big on the bunnies. What would bunny. you be? You'd be a bunny too? What would you be? It's a bee. Oh, what is it? A scorpion. A scorpion? No, I think a superhero. A superhero? Yeah. Is that an animal? I have to ask you guys, because you are future teachers of America. How many states are there? <laughs> I think 26. 1,000. 1,000 states in the United States? Yeah. At least. Yeah. How many states do you think? Um, if she says a little number, I'm down for <laughs> You're down for How big is the universe? 60 miles. 60 miles. Approximately. 60 miles. Yeah. yeah. That sounds reasonable. What would you say to the president if you got to meet him? I'll give him a present. Give him a sticker. A sticker. A nice sticker. A nice sticker. What item would you bring to a deserted island? I guess ice cream. I love ice cream. Mm -hmm. I have so much um, ice cream one day. You would bring milk. Mm. Who's your biggest role model? Barack Obama. Barack Obama? Do you want to be the president? Yes. Yeah, great. You can. Smart, yeah. You can. A girl can be your president too. Of course, yeah. If they're just boys, one girl can be like, I want to be a president, I can scoot in. Yeah. Or I could be a gymnast. What advice would you give to other kids your age? I to give get them stronger. Bracelet. You would give them a bracelet. But is there any advice? Is there anything that you would tell someone? I would give them a present. You would give them a present. That's beautiful. A nice present. Yeah. I'll give you a hug. And a nice box. You give them, you give me a hug? Yeah. yeah can I have I'll a give hug? A hug. Mm. Yay! Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, I learned so much. I think we're all a little more informed on geography now. Absolutely. I can't wait to travel 60 miles across the U.S. one day. The whole universe, actually. Oh, wow. And they did tell me that that was going to take 60 minutes, so they're driving quickly. Nice. <laughs> Well, Olivia, you definitely look amazing in your gown tonight. I think it's time to see what our 2016 contestants look like in theirs. So, without further ado, let's start the preliminary evening gown competition. Take it away, Stephanie. Alabama. Peyton's hometown has just two restaurants and the nearest movie theater is an hour away. This small town girl doesn't like sweets and tried her first ever piece of birthday cake when she turned 22. 
Please put your hands together for Alabama. We're out of rhymes. It's your lucky day. Alaska. Ariane enjoys flying and is currently getting private pilot lessons. She used to be the captain of a competitive cheerleading team and plans to coach a high school cheer team in the future. Give it up for Alaska. Arizona. Chelsea is currently studying fashion merchandising and marketing. This 20-year-old works with an organization called Active Minds because she's passionate about erasing the stigma associated with mental illness. Arizona. Arkansas. became a national spokeswoman for the American Association for Cancer Research after losing several members of her family to the disease. This 19-year-old recently got her real estate license and plans to either work as a realtor or star on a fixer-upper TV show. Presenting Arkansas. California. Nadia is an international model with over 135,000 Instagram followers. This 20-year-old once suffered from an eating disorder, so she now speaks to young women about the importance of loving the skin you're in. California. Colorado. Kaylee Ray recently graduated magna cum laude from SMU with a degree in fashion media and advertising. This 22-year-old entrepreneur is currently working on starting her own digital marketing company. Let's hear it for Colorado. <laughs> Connecticut. Tiffany's father is Portuguese and her mother is Angolan. In 2013, this first generation American competed in her state pageant and was named first runner up to the eventual Miss USA winner, Erin Brady. Connecticut. Through her public speaking, Alexandra influences young women to enter the science and engineering fields. This 21-year-old believes it's important to see the world and recently spent several weeks in Australia. Put your hands together for Delaware. District of Columbia. Deshauna got her master's in computer information systems because IT and engineering are growing industries where she lives. She currently works as an IT analyst for the Department of Commerce. District of Columbia. Florida. currently host a fishing television show. During her live to tape broadcast, this 25 year old promotes tournaments, takes calls from ship captains, and speaks to her audience about environmental issues. Please put your hands together for Florida.
Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, and Florida. Georgia. Imani is currently an honor student in college studying communications. She blames social media for telling people they need to look a certain way and often reminds young women that flaws are what make you beautiful. Give it up for Georgia. Hawaii. Chelsea's state pageant was the first time she'd ever been on stage. She studied anthropology and geography in college and currently works for a nonprofit teaching kids the importance of health and fitness. Give it up for Hawaii! Idaho. Sydney has been spreading awareness about breast cancer since her mother was diagnosed two years ago. She raised money to help fight the disease by participating in a 5K run and currently knits hats for women going through chemo. Let's hear it for Idaho. Illinois. Zina's parents are from Lebanon, so she often spends her summers overseas with family. This 24-year-old speaks fluent Arabic and helps put herself through college by working two jobs. Presenting Illinois. Indiana. When Morgan was nine, she spent three months in the hospital with a rare brain ailment. She made a miraculous recovery and currently works as a mental health nurse. Give it up for Indiana. Iowa. Alyssa is an entrepreneur who currently has five different business ideas. She plans to open a high-end clothing boutique after this pageant and already has two interested investors. Put your hands together for Iowa. Kansas. Victoria works with the organization Relay for Life to honor her late grandfather. She was named Athlete of the Year in high school and was one of the top high jumpers in her entire state. Let's hear it for Kansas. Kentucky. As a hotel lifeguard, Kyle has had to pull drowning children from the pool. Since she was 12, she's been volunteering with the Brain Injury Alliance of Kentucky, meeting with families to provide support. Let's hear it for Kentucky! Louisiana. 
Louisiana. Despite playing sports, Malia struggled with obesity growing up. She has since become an advocate for eating right and exercising daily, promoting her healthy lifestyle on social media. Here she is, Louisiana. Maine. In sixth grade, Marissa was struck by lightning and blamed the blast for ruining her eyesight. Thankfully, it didn't affect her voice as she began singing opera at 12 and participated in musical theater throughout high school. Presenting Maine. Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, and Maine. Christina loves to run and is currently training for her first marathon. This 25-year-old print model also works as a behavioral therapist, currently tutoring a girl with autism. Give it up for Marilyn. Massachusetts. Whitney is currently a double major studying broadcast journalism and fashion merchandising. A one-time victim of cyber stalking, she's now an advocate for social media safety. Put your hands together for Massachusetts. Michigan. Susie is part of the Henry Ford Innovation Fellowship Program. This 26-year-old volunteered at a hospital in Romania when she was 20 and currently speaks three languages. Michigan. Minnesota. Bridget is the first female in her family to ever play league hockey. She graduated high school in the top 10% of her class and currently attends one of the best business schools in the country. Let's hear it for Minnesota. Mississippi. Haley won the prestigious It Factor Award as a member of the 2015 Tennessee Titans cheerleading squad. This Elvis fan sang with her church and sorority and plans to be the next big pop star. Mississippi. Missouri. journalism student who works as a reporter for a local TV station. She plans to attend law school and says the interview skills that she's learned through pageantry will help her as a litigator. Let's welcome Missouri. Montana. 
Montana. Savan's brother is in the Air Force, so she's especially proud of her fundraising for the Wounded Warrior Project. This 23-year-old has acted in films, but eventually hopes to be a professional stunt woman. Montana. Nebraska. Both of Sarah's parents are doctors, so she feels extra pressure to be successful. This former Miss Teen USA contestant plans to host her own late night TV show in the future. Let's hear it for Nebraska. Nevada. Lena lost her sister to drugs six weeks after she was crowned at her state pageant. This 24-year-old now works with high schools, speaking about substance abuse and the various problems it causes. Nevada. New Hampshire. Jessica is the area sales manager for a food service company. She's the youngest woman to ever win the prestigious Circle of Excellence Award, given out annually based on sales growth. Presenting New Hampshire. Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, and New Hampshire. After losing two grandparents to heart disease, Jessie Lynn co-founded the Queen of Hearts organization with her sister. The nonprofit raises both money and awareness to provide defibrillators to public facilities. Let's hear it for New Jersey. Mexico. Naomi competed in her first pageant last year on the advice of her mother. She enjoys giving back and received the Living Portrait Award from the United Negro Women's Council for her volunteer work. It's New Mexico. New York. Serena studied criminal justice in college and hopes to eventually work in law enforcement. She's an ambassador for an anti-domestic violence organization and once interned for the Woodbury Police Department. Give it up for New York. North Carolina. Devin recently graduated with a degree in strategic communications. This country music fan recently did some promotional work on Kenny Chesney's Spread the Love Tour. Let's hear it for North Carolina. North 
Dakota. Hallie will soon be a third generation nurse. This 21 year old was especially motivated by her grandmother who continued to work as a nurse even after being diagnosed with cancer. North Dakota. Ohio. Megan won her state crown on her ninth try, which was her last year of eligibility. This kind-hearted 26-year-old started a summer reading program for low-income children who are unable to get rides to the library. Let's hear it for Ohio! Oklahoma. While getting her broadcast journalism degree, Taylor was a cheerleader for the St. Louis Rams. Last year, this 24-year-old traded in her pom-poms to work as an in-studio NFL reporter. Oklahoma. Oregon. Nate Rihanna was a star basketball player in high school. She went to college on a partial sports scholarship, but unfortunately tore her knee, prematurely ending her athletic career. We're glad she's here presenting Oregon. Pennsylvania. When Elena was young, she went deaf in both ears after contracting bacterial meningitis. After undergoing a risky implant surgery, this 24-year-old can hear again and says it's important to not use a disability as a crutch. Give it up for Pennsylvania. Rhode Island. Teresa received an award from the Portuguese American Leadership Council for her dedication to her culture. This first generation American has been an advocate for cancer awareness since losing her father to the disease. Let's welcome Rhode Island. South Carolina. As a senior in college, Leah tried out for American Idol. This aspiring country singer received a golden ticket to Hollywood, where she performed in the group round for Keith Urban, Harry Connick Jr., and J-Lo. South Carolina. Paycheck to help fund programs for the school. 
presenting South Dakota. Hope is currently a fashion merchandising and business marketing major in college. This 20-year-old plans to be an international fashion journalist upon graduation. Let's hear it for Tennessee. Daniela is a proud Texan who feels at home at the shooting range. She considers herself the funny contestant because she's always making jokes and random noises. <laughs> Let's hear it for Texas! Utah. Teal enjoys volunteering with a pet adoption center. This animal lover didn't win her state crown until her eighth try and says all those defeats made her appreciate the win so much more. Put your hands together for Utah. Vermont. Neely is a semi-pro endurance runner. She's completed a 100-mile ultra marathon and is the youngest woman to ever finish the most difficult endurance run in the world, the death race. Let's hear it for Vermont. Virginia. Desiree is a certified yoga instructor and says controlling her breathing helps her in pageants. She's a published author and founded a Hampton University 5K fundraiser to promote health and fitness on campus. Virginia. Washington. Kelsey is currently getting her PhD in nutrition. She's been passionate about the sciences since she was 12 and says her goal is to use science to help people decrease their risk of cancer and chronic disease. Give it up for Washington. <laughs> West Virginia. Nicole would like to start a cosmetic line for cancer patients to help them get their confidence back. In the past, she's worked as a makeup artist at pageants and says it's quite a change being in front of the camera now. Presenting West Virginia. Wisconsin. Kate is training to be a private pilot and would eventually like to do a search and rescue for the military. This 19-year-old enjoys skydiving and plans to jump out of a plane with her 75-year-old grandfather. Presenting Wisconsin. Wyoming. Autumn worked in an animal shelter for a year, helping to rehab aggressive dogs. She prefers being outdoors and recently spent her spring break on a mountain biking trip in Moab, Utah. Wyoming. Miss 52 USA. Alexandra graduated from Wichita State with a degree in marketing. This first ever Miss 52 enjoys playing Guitar Hero and going antiquing on the weekends. 
put your hands together for Miss 52 USA. South Dakota. Tennessee. Texas. Utah. Vermont. Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming, and Miss 52 USA. Let's hear it one more time for all 52 contestants. They all did an amazing job. And remember that you at home and in the audience can help vote one of them into this year's top 15. The best way to vote is by downloading the new Miss You app, available on iOS and Android. Or you can tweet using hashtag MissUSA and contestant-specific hashtags. Or you can always vote the old-fashioned way by going to vote.missusa.com. And during this year's telecast, you, the fans, will be able to vote for your favorite contestants to get them to the next round. So make sure to tune in Sunday for more details. We'd like to extend a special thanks to everyone who has supported the contestants, the judges, state directors, and the entire Miss USA production team. And thank you to Farouk Systems, makers of Chi Hair Care, LVCVA, MGM Grand Hotel and Casino, Sherry Hill, Chinese Laundry, and Image Skincare. I also want to thank the Backstreet Boys for coming on Sunday. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. And Juliana Huff, I think I'm going to ask her about Dancing with the Stars. What do you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. And Terrence J. Terrence J. Maybe he can give me a hosting job. Amazing. Ashley Graham, Sports Illustrated. I have a lot of goals here. I want to like get it all in one. And of course, a huge shout out to Paula Shugart. Thank you for putting up with me for a year. Thank you for being an incredible boss and mentor. I'm so grateful for your leadership. Yeah, Paul, all right. And don't forget to watch this Sunday, June 5th on Fox at 7 p.m. 6 Central, or join us here live in Vegas at 4 p.m. sharp. Remember, tickets are still available. Snatch them up before they're gone. Now, before we go, Let's bring out all the lovely ladies one more time. Let them hear it as they come out. Woo! Don't they look fabulous? Who's gonna win on Sunday? All right. Well, thank you, everybody, and good night. Good night. What no say? We just got here. It's our first time. Hola, donde ir hoy, señoritas? We don't know. We just got here. It's our first time. <laughs>